132.735. My husband got me something. It's the Apple 7 as a present. Apple Watch, and apparently got this on Facebook Marketplace. There's so many listings say, bought this for my wife and she never wore it. So he got this from a wife for his wife. So here is a quick tutorial on something that I like to use my Apple Watch for, math. 4 times 16 times 9.5 times 140 times 255 times 82.5 add. The answer is 1,790,712,000. My husband bought me this watch because I need a lot of help. Uh, he can't be with me all the time, he says. Apparently the lady wore it three times, probably to make her husband feel like appreciated because he bought that for her brand new. I think it's because a lot of wives don't know how helpful it can be. So I'm here as a wife to teach other wives when your husband buys you one of these, it's better than you think. 20 times 16. That would be 320. 16 times 20. It's 320. 15 times 6. It's 90. Welcome to I can't do math and neither can my supplier. This is stock because we both have business minds and we both have to do a lot of numbers. Really nice uh, supplier that I made a good business relationship with. Been supplying us with a whole bunch of weight, so he goes and finds. I'm trying to add up the stock that I bought because I have a feeling I owe him $900. A lot of numbers. The third time I've got supplies off him and trying to streamline the system to add all the weights up and figure out how much it costs me to buy them from him. But when you're dealing with kilos and then you're dealing with pounds and then you're dealing with dollars and you're dealing with cents, like you have to times that by like 1.5, some are two, some are two and a half. It gets a lot. Using Apple Watch, 10 times 19. That would be 190. 7.5 times 11. The answer is 82.5. Five, see that's a hard number to crack. The total cost, 2,868. I paid 2,030. He's owed $865, and I wrote that seems more correct, eh? 5 times 51. The answer is 255. 2.5 times 56. That would be 140. 0 0.5 times 19. The answer is 9.5. He also added it up. We've got a different number again. This is my filing system. I'm writing on envelopes at the moment because I've run out of paper. 1.25, oh no, I already did that. Cancel. I paid $2,000. $30. That's what we know. I said to him, look, you look tired, I look tired, we're both hungry. Both were just like, whatever. So I gave him two grand and we thought that's what it came to. We both cracked the numbers. He's separately at home, I did mine separately at home. He came here, we cracked the numbers twice. We came up with like 1,800 and then we came up with 2,000 and then we're like, you know what, let's just do that. He's hungry, he wants to go home. Gave him a banana, sent him on his way and I said, look, I'm gonna recount it. It's 2,002.86. We counted it straight after that and I came up with 2,900. He just left here $900 short. But then I was like, it's the end of the day and I'm not good at math to begin with. So I said to him, look, you're probably out somewhere between five and 900, but I don't know. And let me count it up again when I'm fresh. So this is two days later. I needed two days to recover from that math. I have to add up all these numbers. Okay, I, I haven't done this before. So this is a live, I'd be like, why do you rip it off? No wonder you lose it because it's gonna be lost in this thing. Front and back, I need to get a new one because I forget when I go to the shop busy buying apples. Why don't you leave enough room on the page? I don't have the future in my head, okay? I'm gonna have my pen and paper ready. I have 16 of them. I got 15 kilos, I got six of them, and so forth. And then we're going to pounds on the next page. I'm just gonna ask my friend on here to help me do math. Hey Siri, she just added that up for me. Now I'm gonna do it manually, Let's see if I get the same number. One, four, add 16, Add 9.5, add 140, add 255, add 190, add 82.5, add 90, add 320, add 63.75. It's 1170.75. 1756.125, add 132.735. It's 1. 888.86. I have a feeling when I was calling out the numbers to my supplier, I accidentally called out some kilos rather than the price. I think that's what happened. 1170.75 times 1.5. It's 1756.125. One seven five. I already forgot what it said. This is not working for me. I did something wrong already. Here's what I found. Teach me about fractions. No. 4 times 16 
times 9.5. Hey, 1,170. Cancel. I found this on the web. Yes, that's great. 1,170.75 times 1 1.5. Here's what I found. It looks like this can still go wrong. So how do you get it back? That would be a nice feature. 1,756.125 add 1 that so, so this is this is a much more accurate system but the problem I'm finding is the numbers are really hard for my brain to compute so it's like one one seven point two you say the wrong thing and the number's too long and then when she tells me the calculation is accurate but then by the time I go to write it down I've forgotten everything I need it to stay on the screen imagine doing this without Siri one 1756.125 at 132.735. Oh, Siri wasn't even listening to me. So, my husband bought me this watch because I need a lot of help. 2943. It's a difference of 913. And he came up with a difference of 918. It was close enough. So, we're both happy with that. Now, I've got to count the Olympic weights. 